What is up guys, it's Gabe here from Fly the Line. Today we are going to be tying a um, elk hair caddis. Um, the color, the thread I'm using is uni thread. It's like this. And, okay, here we go. So, we're going to start out at the eye of our hook. And we're going to wrap it up. And we're going to go all the way to the back. Our hook. That's good. Next, we are going to take some rust or red hackle. You're going to want to use a hackle measure to measure the size of your hackle. We're going to clip the webness off and we're going to make a barb like I did in the last video. Like that. Next, we're going to lay it right on top of the hook. We're going to capture it, tie it in. There we go. That's nice and captured. Next, we are going to take a camo colored um, dubbing. I'm going to put some wax on your line. Not in globs though, because that will make it look bad. We're going to take the rust color, the not the rust color, the camo colored dubbing, and we're going to put it on our line and rub it in, just like I said before. Rub it opposite direction of each finger after you place the dubbing on the line. And it makes it look nice and tight like that. Next, we're going to wrap, I'm going to say, well, it's up to a point, you'll see. I'm going to kind of build this up back here. That looks good. Okay. And we're going to wrap forward. About to here, I'm going to add just a tiny bit more dubbing. And some dubbings, if you wrap it tight enough, you don't have to use the wax. I usually do, but sometimes if I'm just trying to go quick, then I'm not going to use the wax. Or you can also use your tongue. Okay, so I'm going to wrap a little bit in front here. Just to kind of secure it. Next we're going to take our hackle pliers, or your fingers, and we're going to wrap. And I listened to this guy, he said his name's Tim Camisa. He said originality is important on all your flies. So when I tie it in, I tie it in the very back, and, I, and then when I pull it forward, it gives it a little bit of a tail. And it looks, I think it looks pretty cool. It adds just a difference about your fly than to other flies. And you're gonna you want that in, in all your fly in all your flies. You want something there that makes it yours. If you're like giving it to somebody or you're selling them online, so then they know the difference. So then somebody sees your fly, they're like, "Oh, Gabe must have tied that," or "Oh, whatever your name must have tied that." So, so we're gonna capture our hackle just like we would any other time. That's good. Nice and captured. We will trim these. Now, I was also listening to Tim Camisa, and he said to add a thing called CDC. And it's this stuff. Looks like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull a bunch of fibers off of your CDC. And you could tie that in. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tie in at first because it's really fragile. 
I'm not going to use it in this video because it takes a long time to tie in. But I will do a longer video on how to tie in CDC later on. So, we'll do that. And you basically just, like I showed you a minute ago, wrap it in. Next sure news, we're going to take a clump of elk hair. Like that much. And we're going to take it, and we're going to stick it in our hair stacker. We're going to stick it in the top. And we're going to put our thumb over it, and we're going to hit it. Stacker here's nicely. I'm gonna tip it over just to the side, and kind of pull it out. And now our elk hairs are evenly stacked. Now we're just gonna do this, get all those extra hairs out. Next, we're gonna line it up just about with the back of our hook, like that. We're gonna take our line and we're gonna pull it over and we're gonna capture it. Hold tight, make sure not to break it. There we go. Next, we're going to pull these up. We're going to wrap right in front of our eye. Like that. Then what we're going to do is to capture, like secure this really well, we're going to go in between some of the buttons and we're going to pull our line through that. And that, will secure it nice and tightly. Next we're going to grab our buttons, like this, and we're going to make sure we get all of them. And we're going to Clip it. Like that. Now we're gonna add we're gonna take our half hitch tool. We're gonna add a half hitch in front of our our um this little head here. Then we're going to do a whip finish, and I'll do a video on a whip finish next time. And we're going to go like that, pop it in, clean this up, there we go, now just clip it. Your line. Then we'll add just a tiny bit of our Sally Hansen. Right there to secure it in. And that's how it. Thanks for watching, guys. This is how you tie an elk hair caddis. Um, please like and subscribe, and here and there, and then check out my blog, um, flyontheline.blog.wordpress.com. Thank you guys for watching again. Have a great day.